Ball one. There's a foul off the mask of plate umpire Frank Umont. Frank straightens it out a little bit. Fires the new ball back to Don Larson. One on one the count on Button. One ball, one strike to count on Don Button. Nobody out, nobody on the bottom of the first. The pitch is low, ball two, two and one. As Lawson tried to change up curveball. Don, of course, pitching with the no windup delivery, which he started right here at Fenway Park two years ago towards the end of the year. Ball three, a high fastball inside. Three and one. Pete Reynolds on deck. one pitch. Strike two called. Button starts to get down to first base. Ball nipped the outside corner. Full count on Button. Three and two. Jack Burns coaching down at third. Del Baker over at first for the Bo Sox. Here's the payoff pitch. Ground ball. Fair ball. Ricocheting off that left field wall. Button around first and holds on. And then Button goes to second. He slides and he's in there with a beautiful hook slide. As Tony Kubek, in the act of picking up the ball in short left field, skidded about six feet. And when Button saw Kubek's feet go from under him, he continued to second after he had stopped halfway around. And Kubek's throw was pulled McDougal off the bag. And let's see what they credit Button with. They have not made an official score yet, whether that's a single and an error or a double. The ball was hit by third, as we've told you here at Fenway Park. The wall in front of the left field seats juts out to the foul line, and ball's ricochet in a short left field. The shortstop has to be alert. And Kubek was, but the field is still a little wet, and he slipped in the act of picking up the ball. Button is down at second base with the first base hit of the ball game. Pete Ronald takes a pitch low, ball one. We have not had an official decision on whether that's a single or a double. The stretch, the pitch to Runnels, is in the dirt, bounces in front of the plate. Yogi knocks it down, ball two, two and nothing on Runnels. He leads the American League in batting with a 328 average. He has 25 doubles, four triples, five homers, 39 runs batted in. Don Button leading off second base. Larson stretches. The pitch to Runnels is strike one call. And now they've decided to give Don Button a double because of the wet turf out here in Fenway Park. And it wouldn't be fair to charge Kubek with an error. The stretch by Larson. The 2-1 pitch is hit on the ground to second base. McDougal up with it, fires to Throneberry for the out, but moving over to third, Don Button. He's in scoring position, and here comes Ted Williams. Ted starts digging that big hole at home plate. Man, he's going to strike oil the way he digs. He really, look at him digging down there. He could really use his shovel. Plants that left foot firmly on the ground. A splendid splitter is hitting 312. He has 17 doubles, two triples, 20 homers, and 66 runs batted in. The infield playing way back. The first pitch is below the knees, ball one. Yogi turns around, and Frank Umont follows Yogi out towards the pitcher's box. Yogi actually shows up an umpire. When he turns around and argues, there's no mistake in why Yogi is arguing. Some catchers can do it without turning their heads, but Yogi turns around, his shoulders sag. The pitch to Williams is low ball two, two and nothing. We're in the bottom of the first inning, no score in the ball game, one away. Don Button down at third base to count two balls, no strikes on Ted Williams. On deck, Frank Malzone. Infield playing back. They're going to give the run to the Red Sox should he hit a ground ball. As they drive to left field, 
Lieberman going back near the scoreboard and make the catch, tagging up Don Button. Here he comes, and Button scores after the catch, and the Red Sox lead one to nothing. Norm Sebron, about two feet in front of the scoreboard out left field, made that catch. The wind is blowing in a little bit. If that ball had been hit last night with the wind blowing out, it would have been against the fence for extra bases. But Ted Williams drives in his 67th run of the year, and the Red Sox lead 1-0. Two out, and that'll bring up Frank Malzone. Malzone's batting 302, the third baseman batting in the cleanup spot. Swings, and there's a little Texas leaguer in a short left. Seaburn digging in fast, and he drops the ball. He can't hold on to it. Malzone heading for second. Seaburn throws, lying flat on the ground. The ball not in time. And Seaburn skidded at least 15 feet that time as he dove for that ball. It hit in his glove, but his momentum knocked the ball out of his glove. And Malzone continued on to second base for another double. The second base hit off Don Larson. Seaburn picked up that ball, lying flat on his back, trying to throw it to second base, but it just rolled there. Malzone is in with a stand-up double. Two away, here's Jackie Jensen. Jensen is batting 310. 24 doubles, 32 homers, and 102 runs batted in. The first pitch is strike one call, the fastball down the middle. At one spot out there in left field, almost the same spot in which Kubek slipped, Seaburn slipped right near it, and they really did skid. There are certain low parts on the field where the water has to drain, that's one of them. The one-strike pitch is low, ball one, one and one. into a stretch position. The 1-1 pitch is low outside ball two. Two and one on Jackie Jensen. One and nothing in favor of the Red Sox who are playing the bottom of the first. Two out. Frank Malzone down at second base. For Malzone, that was his 24th double of the year. The pitch to Jensen is low outside ball three, three and one. Three balls, one strike on Jackie. Here's the stretch. The pitch is popped in the air to short right field. Hank Bauer with the glasses down coming in. Under it and makes the catch for out number three. So for the Red Sox in the bottom of the first, one run on two base hits. No Yankee errors. One man left on base. The score at the end of one full inning, the Red Sox won and the Yankees nothing. A look at the scoreboard in the American League. Washington at Baltimore tonight. Cleveland at Chicago tonight. Detroit at Kansas City. All night games. In the National League, Philadelphia at Milwaukee. Chicago at San Francisco. Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. All day games, and they all start later on. And they're the only games scheduled in the National League. So we have very little action to report. And as we told you, today marks the 10th anniversary of the day that the great Bear Brook passed away. And everyone stood for a moment of silence in respect to the Bambino. And we were looking at some of his records that he's made and some which will never be beaten. He has the highest slugging average for a year, 847. He has the most home runs for one season, 60. Most home runs lifetime, 714. Most runs scored in a season, 177. The most home runs for one month by a left-hand bat is 17. And the most bases on balls received, 170. He also has quite a few pitching records. He started his career here in Boston as a pitcher and has quite a few records. And we'll pass them along to you later on in the game. Right now, Yogi Berra stepping up to lead off for the Yankees. Here in the bottom of the second, the first pitch to Yogi is hit on the ground. Runnels over to his left, up with the ball. Flips to Grenadines, one away, and Runnels was playing Berra perfectly in the hole, way over near first base. 